Hi there. Welcome to this tutorial on NPM. Uh, we'll learn about what NPM is and uh, what are the different commands which are present in NPM and how you can really manage packages or how you can really manage dependencies using uh, NPM. Let's do all that in this tutorial. Let's get started. Um, if you want to get NPM installed, you need to get Node.js. So all that you need to do is go to the website nodejs.org uh, click the install button and it should be very straightforward to install this. If you have any problems you can uh, use the uh, node install video which is present in our channel. I assume you have Node.js uh, installed and thereby have the NPM up and running. Now uh, based on which operating system you are using it's either the terminal or the DOS prompt and you can go to the terminal and DOS prompt to check if you have npm installed. So all that I do is npm hyphen hyphen version and you should see some version coming out. That's a clear indication that you have npm installed. So we have npm installed so we can get started with using npm. What I'll do is I'll use an editor called WebStorm. It's a beautiful editor with a lot of features. Uh, it would take another video on its own to discuss what are the features which are present in WebStorm. So let's focus on uh, NPM right now. What I would do is use uh, uh, the terminal which is already integrated into uh, WebStorm. So this is no different from the terminal here. It's just easy for me to demonstrate things using the terminal right here. So this is just the same terminal which is integrated into terminal. I'm uh, in a particular project which has a little bit of source code right now. I mean it has a few tutorials on AngularJS, BOA and etc. But right now uh, we want to use NPM to manage our uh, node dependencies in here. So we want to use NPM to manage the dependencies. So first thing is I, as you can see this is a Bowel tutorial. I want to use Bowel so, but I, I, I do, don't have Bowel installed in here. So what I can do is install Bower. How I can do install Bower is by using npm install Bower. So I'm doing npm install Bower. The command is very simple. It's npm install Bower. And if it runs fine, that's good. Uh, normally you'd also have problems with permissions. In that case, you need to do sudo npm install Bower. Uh, I'm installing Bower locally here because I want to wa have a separate version of Bower locally as well. I mean, it might be in certain scenarios, it might be good to just use the global uh, installation of Bower, but I would actually prefer to have a local one used. So you'd see that now uh, the uh, NPM, it's done, the command executed and it's installed Bower. And you can see now a new folder in here, which is created, which is node modules. This folder didn't get, it didn't exist earlier. When I did an npm install, when we are installing our first node dependency, this uh, npm dependency, this folder gets created, and you can now see Bower in here. So you can see that Bower is one of the node modules which is directly present in here, and I can go and use Bower further. Before that, I want to install one more dependency. Uh, let's install gulp. So I want to use gulp to manage the dependencies in here. So I want to install gulp in here. Uh, again, it's a choice whether you want to install it locally or globally. Uh, but I'm going to install it locally for now. So uh, now that uh, gulp is installed, you can go ahead and see, oops, it's not yet there. Yeah, there you go. So there now you see uh, Gulp also present as part of one of the node modules. So you can see that uh, it's very easy to install dependencies using NPM. We can also install un uh, uninstall dependencies using NPM. The command is very simple, NPM install, uninstall. Let's say I want to uninstall Bower. So all that I need to do is do npm uninstall Bower and it would uninstall it. Uh, one problem that we have right now is we have executed a lot of commands. I mean, let's say I have installed three or four dependencies and 
I want to share that with my team. I mean, I have a team of five members working with me and I would want to share all my dependencies list with the team. How do I do that? Uh, we can do that by using npm init. So w when we do npm init and just uh, choose the defaults, don't worry about anything, just keep using the defaults. Yes, and you'd see that there is a new file which is created. Uh, Hopefully it comes in very soon. Yeah, this is the package.json file which is created. Uh, these are, we didn't change anything in here, so this remained the same. But the most important part in here is this. So you'd see that we have added in a dependency of gulp with a specific version. So the caret is the default, which means uh, I am okay with using any 3.x version. So if there's a new version, let's say 3.9, Okay, go and get it for me. Uh, but if it's 4 dot something, then it would not get it for me. So this is what this represents. So this dependency management is po now possible uh, through the package.json. So what I can do now is give this package.json to other team members and they can use it to uh, download the same version of the dependencies, same dependencies that I have to. So let's say now I would want to reinstall uh, like uh, we don't see Bower here because I had uninstalled Bower earlier, so I would now install Bower back. So, so I would want to install Bower back. It would c uh, contain Bower now, so it contains Bower now. But the problem you can see is in the package.json, Bower is not there yet. So how do I really get? Uh, package.json into uh, sorry bowl into package.json the way you can do that is by using save so if I install something using hyphen hyphen save it would be added to the dependencies which are present in here so there you go now if I wait for some time and wait for this file to refresh you can see bowl also added in here but one thing which is a problem is actually Bowl and Gulp are tools which are used to uh, run, uh, like which are used to do dependency management, which is used to execute tasks. And I don't really want them to be the dependencies for the source code. This dependencies is used to maintain the dependencies which are related to source. However, there is another thing called dev dependencies, which is where we can actually have these kind of things present. So Bowl and Gulp are things which are dev dependencies and not really uh, the dependencies of the source code. So let's do it now. Let's install both Bower and Gulp, but I want to install them as say dependency. You can in install multiple dependencies separating them by space. So now I would, I'm trying to install them, Bower and Gulp, using save dev. And there you go. Now you see the dev dependencies with Bower and Gulp. So uh, the, the difference between dependencies and dev dependencies is that dependencies is for source code and dev dependencies is for things which enable you to do development. Like, for example, you have a test running framework, Karma, it's a dev dependency. And if you have a build tool, it's a dev dependency. It's something which helps you to uh, do your development, but it's not necessarily part of your source code. All the source code dependencies are part of dependencies. So uh, as we discussed earlier, it's the difference is hyphen save saves to dependencies and hyphen save dev saves, saves to dev dependencies. And as we discussed earlier, uh, you can use an uninstall command to uninstall a dependency, uninstall command to uninstall a dependency and there are a few other commands which might be useful to learn. npm ls is npm list. So it lists all the dependencies which are present. If you pass in a hyphen g, it lists all the global dependencies. I have a lot of them here, so it would list a huge amount of things in here. So I would break it for now. But uh, the other commands are, uh, if you do just npm ls, it lists the local dependencies, I mean local package dependencies that are present. And you can do an npm update, it would update all the dependencies which are present in your package.json. 
Okay, now that I have a package.json, I can delete the node modules because I don't need these anymore. Uh, like let's say I want to share this with another developer. All that I now need is the package.json. If I commit this into version control, if I commit the package.json into version control, the other developers can use this to uh, install the packages. So all that they need to do now is they don't need to really do npm install on each of the things that we had. All that they need to do is go and do an npm uh, install. So earlier we were installing npm install uh, with the name of the tool that we want to install. So npm install bower, npm install gulp. From now on we don't really need to do that because we already have the package.json configured. So all that we need to do is npm install. Oops. There seems to be a problem with our npm install. Oops, there is a bracket missing in here. So now I can go and run it, npm install. And it would now download all the dependencies which are present in the package.json. It would download Bower, Gulp, and you would see that everything would be downloaded. So you would see that Bower and Gulp are being downloaded and they would be created. And from now on, I can share this file and every team member of mine can just run npm install and they would have all the dependencies that I had too. Okay, there you go. That's basically NPM for you. NPM is a package manager which helps us to manage dependencies. You can use package.json to list all the dependencies that you have and you can use NPM install to uh, uh, get all the pa uh, package, uh, all the dependencies from the repositories and put them in your local system. So that's uh, NPM. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Until next time,